Okay, we're out in the garage. I'm gonna try and get into this thing. I just got some quarter inch sockets and a screwdriver. And I haven't like watched a video or anything on this. I don't know that there is any. I'm sure there is. Kind of a silly thing to say, but I want to just start taking this guy apart. So I think we'll I don't know why I'm taking this guy off, but why well, I'm starting here, it's probably a silly place to start, but it's where I started. Let's get her turned over. Looks like we're supposed to have four here, but I have three, so I'll pop off those three. Maybe I'll go grab a dish for all these screws. A second here. I'll just use this. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's simple. Let's check calibration every six months, and then it. That must be the instructions on how to do that. Okay. Hmm. I need a bigger screwdriver, I guess. So somebody's definitely been in here over the years. I can see a mismatch of screws. I got some Phillips screws. I got a strip screw. I got a flat head over here and some real big ones here. Well, let's uh, start yanking her apart and see what we got. Oh. I was hoping that wasn't stripped on the way out like somebody was trying to get it apart but i think uh i think somebody's screwdriver got away from them on the way in uh, this one maybe a different that one is completely stripped oh it sucks i've never seen one in kilopascals before um, i don't ever remember Going into a gas station and having to do the conversion. I guess if I did, I'd know what it was. Change it out for a wider Phillips. Maybe we can. Maybe we can grab her that way. There we go. Now I bought this as a complete running unit from the guy. And he says him and his father actually removed it from the gas station. It says uh, it was in the 80s at the time. It was a shell station. And he thought his dad was crazy for saving this thing. And then 40 years later, I come in and buy it. Now, if it looked like your typical, you know, eco air meter, I would have had to pay upwards of who knows, thousand bucks. These things are going for good money now. But this one, because it's a newer style and it ain't kilopascals. I think that's what holds it back. I, don't, I guess I don't know. What do I know? I think that's what's holding it back from being worth what the other ones are. Okay. So now, I don't know. I think that'll get it. Yep.
There we go. I think I just turns out of there. It's a little pipe nipple. Can you say pipe nipple on YouTube? I hope so. Then there's this guy here, which doesn't actually come out. Let's see if I can just pull this out now. Hmm, nope. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab a wrench for that. Okay. I'm thinking this will just lift out now. Okay, so it looks like this spring's got to come off. Okay. So I released that spring. I'm hoping it comes out. Let's try it again. Almost. Okay. We're held up on that the hose hook there. This guy here. Let's see if I can fish it out at all. I don't know. Maybe I can stand it up and then unscrew it. Yeah, I think so. You can see it down there. Let's grab a Phillips. Knock that off. It's going to be interesting putting this back on, eh? Okay, so I got that off. Now I believe this will just, yeah, okay. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, there's the bell. Cool. Uh, looks like we have a broken spring up here. That shouldn't be too difficult to fix up though. So yeah, so this is kind of secondary for me. The part I'm really curious about is this, and from what I'm seeing here, I think I'm right. I think I can knock these clips off and I think we can use this. You know, somewhere out there, there's some eco air meter guy going what an idiot of course everyone knows that but uh, i didn't know that but i'm i'm pretty confident especially at this point like why else would you have that cut out i think only because this is an older model there we go so that's off So my theory is uh, just grab my parts here. It's good, eh? Buddy. Buddy, that's money. Are you kidding me? That's beautiful. So hmm. I don't know if we're missing some holes there or what, but looks like that's going to fit in there. I'm thinking so. I might have to drill some holes because I don't, I don't see how those are going to do their job. That's okay. I can do that. That looks good. That looks good already. What do you think? So I don't really want to quote his prices or what I paid or anything like that because um, I don't know if his prices changed. I don't know if I got a good deal. I don't know if I paid too much. 
What I do know is I want to get this cleaned up. So I'm going to probably stop here. I'm going to go ahead and just sand this. And I'll hit it. I'll hit it with some red paint. And then we'll come back. Okay. How's that? Is that fair? Um, so that's where we're at. It looks pretty good. Got, you know, some scuff up here, some down here. Uh, but overall, I think I can just hit that with the sander and be okay. This is my, uh, this is my, the base. So this mounts to the wall, just like this. And then it sits on top. This mounts to the wall and then your unit sits on top of here, just like that. Just like that. Well, once those bolts come out and went in there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding. That's pretty boring, so I'll save you guys a little bit of that, and I'll be back. Okay, well, I uh, hit them both with the sander. So I'm going to hit her with a little bit of primer, and we'll hit her with some paint. Good enough. We'll let that flash up and then I'll hit it with some paint. Well, while we're waiting for the paint to dry, I figured maybe we'd come over here and try and throw these stickers on. Probably gonna drive some people nuts with the way I do this too, but that's okay. I'm just gonna try and put it on there and Yeah, we can wheel her into position. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can I get all the way around that way? If I think so. All right. Let's, uh, There we go. Just yank her off here and hmm. that's not good. Thirty-two. Looks like a good place to start, eh? All right, our numbers are in. Let's go and uh, let's take a look at how our paint's doing. Hey, this one's been used. All right. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that, eh? Looks good. Let me take you guys in for a little bit of a closer look. I think that looks pretty good. You know, when you think about it's just trim clad, right? Looks pretty good. There's the base. I decided to hit the base too. I'd like to get it sandblasted just because it's in such a rough shape. But then I thought, you know, all you see is the side of it. So I hit that with the sander. Where it's nice and smooth then up here you're not going to see that anyway so i just left it cruddy 
here's this guy here this is our back panel you see there's some dust in there but uh you know honestly for me this will probably just get mounted on the wall here somewhere it's just kind of like garage art i guess it's a cheap unit it uh you know it's that's the one it was you know we got our new numbers on there once we get this all slapped back together i think it'll look the part but you can't be running around tricking people either right so i think it'll be a piece that just kind of stays in the garage pleasing to the eye i'll like it uh if you come over you'll probably like it um you'll know that i don't know you know that kind of stuff but it's uh it'll be a cool piece or at least i hope so um i think that's gonna do it for right now i'll probably let this dry and i'll come back to it i don't know if i know me probably in about 10 minutes and get my fingerprints all in the paint but i'll do my best to try and stay out of here maybe till after supper and it's uh three in the afternoon or something so maybe four hours see if it dries up in four hours i hope so we'll see i will be back okay it's now like supper time or whatever and that paint's still tacky it's not wet but it's it's sticky so i thought maybe we'd come over and get to work on this guy broken this whole thing i don't know if it works or not but um anyway i got these screws here and these little washers guess we'll throw these on before we get too carried away Well, there's where we're at now. Um, I guess we'll just wait for the rest of this stuff to dry, namely this stuff. We'll come back out, I guess, tomorrow morning and see if we can't fit that guy in there. I don't know. What do you think? Looks pretty good so far. I'm happy with it. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's uh, it's the next day. Um, where are we here? We got this guy kind of set up like so. There's a couple screws down here. I got this all screwed on. Um, I think we're going to just move that out of the way. We're gonna bring our big boy in. So I think first, I think this piece needs to go on. That guy's gonna fit on like that. It's got those screws, but I don't have any screw holes. So that could be interesting. Do I need to drill some? Or does, do these things just simply hold it on? I got no screw holes. Oh yeah. I think maybe that just holds it on. Uh, I don't know, let's give that a shot. Okay. I think that's good. What do you think? Looks pretty good. Okay, so I think I think that chrome piece goes on last. That's what I think. <sighs> I'm 
sure everybody remembers that from science class when we were a kid. Just run your screwdriver over a magnet and it shall be temporarily magnetized. Okay, now for the bottom piece. The piece la, de, la, de, la, de la resistance, is that what they call it? Flip her over and see what we got. <sighs> oh, yeah, I forgot that. I still need a crank handle. Maybe I should get it off of this and onto a nice flat surface. Well, that's where we're... What do you think? Um, so I forgot to put that in. I should have. Because that would actually light up back there. I think I'll, I'll go back and put that in. It's bad on me. Um, I don't know. Looks pretty good. Uh, I do got to go back and do some touch-ups on the paint I see now. Uh, looks like a little dry up there, but I'm not I'm not opposed to taping that off and just hitting it with the red. Uh, we're into this way less than I would have imagined. I've been looking to buy one of these for a while. The lowest price I found was twelve hundred bucks, and that thing was beat. And I didn't think it was worth it. Um, in hindsight, I kind of wish I had bought it. But now having done this, I'm like, well, I'm glad I didn't buy it. So, yeah, there we go. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I noticed I got a little bit of dirt behind the screen there. I don't know how much I'm going to worry about it right now. I'm going to worry about the paint, though. I'm going to take care of that uh off screen i'm going away for uh an extended stay this time so i think what i'll do is i'll just tape this off paint it um and then you know deal it can i can move it around when i when i come back so there you go that's uh an eco air meter eco tire inflator tire flater um pretty happy with it if uh i don't know if you enjoyed it uh, think about subscribing love to have you along um well i'll catch you guys on the next one and when we come back and spend a little more time on this guy this is the 63 c10 all right thanks guys we'll catch you on the next one